Hi everybody, Mila here. Today I'm going to make a pumice soap with cucumber, wasabi, and cilantro from Nature's Garden. But first I wanted to show you what I made earlier today. I uh, was going to videotape this. I made a shampoo bar uh, with Lavender Luxury from Nature's Garden. And I was going to tape it, or videotape it. Good grief, how old am I? <laughs> v uh, whatever video it and I turned on my camera and the battery was dead and I had everything ready so I just had to run with it but I'll uh it's it's I had to put a heating pad around it to get it to gel because it wasn't even remotely warm and uh, I'll cut that tomorrow and hopefully I can do a video of that so I've got my oils all melted here and I've got my pumice in here and some color kind of using a lot here of pumice to kind of try it out. I normally do a tablespoon now. I'm doing multiple tablespoons. And it's just a really basic recipe. It's canola, palm, coconut, and a little bit of castor. So nothing fancy because it's just a hand soap. And I like having something scrubby at the sink. So that's what I'm hoping this will be. And maybe cute. I don't know. We'll see. I've made this once before and with eucalyptus and spearmint. And I really liked it, but I'm, I don't have any more of that fragrance. I do have a rosemary mint, but it's such a fussy fragrance. I just did not want to deal with something <laughs> ricing or seizing tonight. So I actually don't think I've used this fragrance in a soap. I've done it in a salt bar, but I normally just have been using it for bath and body stuff. So. So that's hopefully when I add the live water, that'll look nice. And then what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I've got some green tea leaves that I have been saving for a soap. I'm just gonna maybe do a half a teaspoon of this just for some, just for looks and it might add a little bit of scrubbiness. Basically I brew the tea and um, for a while. So, and then I open the bag, spread the leaves out and keep them. And I brew it because I don't want it to stain my soap. Otherwise it'll look like you're, especially if you have like brown tea leaves, it'll look like you've got orange spots everywhere. So I'm gonna get my live water. This should hopefully be a pretty quick soap. I'm letting my water cool, so hopefully. It's cool enough. I always tend to soap warm anyway. I'm on a new deal area over here, so hopefully, hopefully you can still see me. It's, I was gonna do this during the day, like I said, but uh, now it's dark. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize this container would be this full. It's so hard to see what the color is. Now I'm not going to go, I think I could use a little more color. I was going to say, I'm not going to go crazy with the color. I don't want an ugly soap though. You never know. I've got a lot of pumice in there, so. Let's see if it's getting the bottom up or not. I love working in tiny spaces. So it's just really thick right now. It's not actually tracing. So good. I was really worried. Sometimes when you add the lye water, if you have a, I've got a lot of palm oil in here. You can get that thickening if you're soaping kind of cool. So I don't think my oils were that warm. 
Okay, let me add some of my tea leaves. I think I'll do a half a teaspoon per pound. Probably all I have left anyway. Oh gosh, hope that's not too much. I saw, I was watching Man, Woman, Wild. I don't know if anybody watches that. It's pretty cool. My husband was got me into that basically, so now I watch it. But he said they were uh, treating some water to drink and he was adding some chlorine bleach and he couldn't remember how much, so he said P for plenty. I thought that was funny. I don't know if that's just my humor. Boy, my things really work in here. It's probably from all the... That looks really cool with the... The green tea in there. Green tea leaves. Adding my fragrance. I'm excited about that, that I didn't forget. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one behaves pretty well, so I won't have to worry about that. There's also, like I said, a lot of canola. Like I said, this is really just for me, so I don't really care if people think canola has DOS or whatever. I'm just using it because it's moisturizing and and it's also probably a really good experiment to see. I've used canola. I don't, I haven't seen DOS on my stuff, but you know, I use my stuff. I even got a couple bars sitting in the basement that technically were supposed to get DOS. They haven't. So I do keep my dehumidifier running. And uh, wow, this is taking forever, which is like caster. I don't want to pour it unless I see Trace because I'm gonna. I've got to do some. Hoping to do some fluffy tops, so I do want it to set up a pour it Trace so I can at least um, have it start setting up. Or who knows? Maybe I'll just leave it flat. But I want it at Trace because I want everything to stay suspended. If you pour a too thin, you you could have settling on the bottom, and you don't want that. Definitely with this recipe, I probably could have end out of this stuff later. That's fine. Or use my stick blender. I don't care about. So yeah, if you ever want to slow down trays, just add some canola. And really, you know, it's up to each person what oils they want to put in and what they're comfortable with. So, I use a variety in my my current recipe. I use um, olive, rice bran, palm, coconut, and a little bit of canola, and some castor oil. And I like it. And uh, it's, it's a stable recipe, and I'm happy with it. So, basically... Okay, so I've hit a good trace here. Oh, I feel like I have soap everywhere here. And I think before I pour it, I'm going to pause this and uh, clean up. Okay, I'm back. I was trying to clean up, but the pumice is proving to be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to have to soak my little little mat there. So it's nice and thick now. I didn't realize it was getting this thick. I was dilly-dallying around and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I should probably pour this. That's fine. I do like to pour thick. I think it turned out really beautiful. It kind of goes with my style. Um, I don't know what that is. Elegant. Huh, just kidding. Somebody said elegant once and I thought that was a very nice compliment. Okay, I didn't even think about how, well, you know what, I'm just going to pour it, whether or not you can see it or not. The fact that you just get to witness this is good enough, right? <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. And you know what, it smells so good. I don't know if the two colors, or the, I think a mint 
really would go with this look better, the rosemary mint. But the cucumber wasabi is so yummy. I just, I love it. And uh, I just love it. So it's a good, good fragrance. Okay. I want to get as much in here as possible. This worked out really well. I do like to overfill this mold. Really don't want any air bubbles. Okay, so what I'm thinking for the texture, um, let's see if it's ready or not. Here we come. Um, I did kind of, last time I kind of did this snap, but as I cut it, I realized I'm not getting the fluffiness I want. It looks nice until I cut it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do it really uniform. Um, so that it's just down and up on one side, except I think it might need to be a little thicker, just so that it's the same. So when I cut, every bar is the same. I don't want to lose any though. Like that. No, I don't like that though. Making a big mess. Maybe I'll just go back to. I think the hardest part are the tops. And I don't know if this is. it. You know, just kind of want to build it up. A little wet still. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. And then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I was doing a video, another part of it, and the battery or the ca the memory cards had full, and I realized I had other videos I'd never taken off, so that was silly. So now here I am. I'm back to my old standby. I'm just trying to imagine what it'll look like cut, and I think I could live with that. I was getting really frustrated. So there it is. It's already feeling pretty warm because I was put it a uh, hot pro or processing in the oven just to kind of get it started not really what I was looking for for the top but I feel like I've missed the boat here like I had an opportunity and I didn't get it so what if I do glitter <laughs> doesn't glitter make everything better but you know what I don't think pumice and glitter really go together so if I imagine it cut, it'll be okay. I mean, it smells good. So there it is. I'm gonna clean up the edges here a little bit. And uh, cross my fingers that everything goes okay. And thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll be able to do the cut picks also. Talk to you later.
I actually don't know if I can shut off my camera. I've got soap on me. Thanks for watching.